Okay, um, are we good? Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, um, thank you for the introduction. Um, I'm actually a PhD student in the Bhutan University of Foreign Studies. Um, I try to focus on my um, studies to Halas. So this um, will be my presentation. So um, for the brief introduction, um, now Halal and its industry is no longer a very new and sudden concept to the world. And we, I believe that we all may agree to this uh, point. But um, research, at least in Korea, is considered to stay in very conventional topics, like it focuses on the case studies, or they focuses on the individual um, countries or individual, um, individual like person or businesses. And um, so I wanted to see through this research that I wanted to compare the academic direction, how the academic direction of halal studies between Korea and abroad are different. And um, I actually started with this research with a hypothesis <laughs> that um, while the Korean research focuses on very business point of view and maintaining a very business perspective, while the studies of abroad would or maybe focus on um, very philosophical uh, perspective and very uh, studies of religion, but um, we'll see how it goes. So um, I, for this research, I divide it into four steps, which are methodology and scope, um, pre-processing, sorry, um, analysis and the visualization and interpretation. So um, for the methodology, um, I used a uh, technique called text mining. And text mining is basically a process that aims to suggest an insight by extracting information from analyzing any form of written sources. So it has three steps that which are um, input text and driving patterns and interpreting an output. Um, and for the scope, was the scope actually was kind of tricky part for me because I only had to cover 25 articles, each from Korean and abroad. I did not um, regulate any like nationalities or any um, ling uh, the languages, language of English, but any form of journals and any form of articles actually. And um, I choose a articles from 20. 12 to 2021, so 10 years of gap. And um, I had to only cover the abstract from articles, and I will explain that. And also, um, I decided to extract the keywords according to the frequency. So this kind of scope had the reasons because first one was quanti quantitative difference uh, because when you this like when you um, search a I use the Google scholars by the way when you search the halal. And when you exclude the book, except any kind of journals, in the same periodical um, the scope, you'll see a significant difference between Korean research. When you search a um, articles in Korean, you only get 964, while when you search halal and um, outside of the Korean research, when you get 145,000. So this is a very huge difference. And also it has um, difference in page numbers. So this was actually an unexpected one. And this was, um, this made me quite um, frustrating <laughs> to set the scope because um, my research is supposed to be, um, follow these, uh, these three um, prepositions that high frequency in, in the whole article means the important words. But when you have more pages, which means more mentionings and high frequency goes up. But you don't mean that more pages guarantee that's the importance of a certain word. And you might think how big different they are. So 25 Korean articles um, corresponds to 629 pages, while 25 overseas articles uh, correspond to 363 pages. But um, I mean, I had, I could, choose some articles to match the whole pages, but in um, in order to maintain the randomness, I did not do that. Instead, um, I chose an abstract only to um, match the overall amount. 
And then the next step was uh, pre-processing. So pre-processing is basically you collect the every after abstract of the paper and compile them into a one compilation um, compiled like text file format. So it has to be a text file, which is the point of this process. And um, I literally just copy and pasted all the abstract into one file. And, but I had to um, separate it lines to prevent the words being broken. Um, and you'll see um, how it turns out when the words are broken. And the third um, step was analysis. So I used specifically the program called RStudio to analyze the whole text. And I have to use some functions, like mathematical functions in the program. So um, there are some steps also, and there were some orders for reasons. So I first used a function called read lines. So um, they are, the, the function called uh, creates the data in unit of line. And um, I uh, specifically use the file.choose with a bracket. And this means that I'm going to choose whatever text I choose. I'm going to make this uh, function read whatever text I choose in the files. Um, and I just um, screenshotted a part of the 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 Art Studio program, but I got like two hundred and nine lines in total. And then I used um, a function called s apply, which um, means simplification apply. It's a function that keeps doing the rep repetitive actions. And I, um, when you see the screenshot below, you'll see that another function called extract nouns. So I literally just try to extract nouns from the whole text. And um, it also does <clears throat> a job that converts data from the lines into form of matrix. So which means you have rows and columns. And the third, I used a function called unlist. So this function converts data um, into a format of character string. And then also it um, does a job of converting data into a format of vector. So vector is very computer engineering or like database um, uh, word, but this is basically a pocket that holds um, <clears throat> um, whole certain amount of data in it. So when you have one vector, you can have one or at least one data into it. But um, I only put the, the, the term vector to explain our next step, which is G sub. So G sub functions um, stands for global substitute. So it does the exactly identical job when you find, um, when you use the control and H in Excel or Microsoft Word, when you find certain words and replace it into other words. Now, when I say, um, <clears throat> When I said I use the term or function, excuse me, um, at least to convert a data into a format of vector, and that was because I should use G sub in order, uh, which only works in the format of vectors. So G sub allows to find and replace certain words. So in this case, K text, by the way, means the Korean text. I use the the function G sub and um, the quotation and quotation blank and K text in the bracket. So this means that I want to find a word and, and I want to change them into a blank, which basically deletes delete it. And um, from or within the boundary of text of K text. So um, the, the less efficient part of this research was I had to do every single thing one by one. Um, but when you see the very last line or second last line that um, you starts with the K text three and the filter. Um, it means that I can or I could filter the any words that has um, more that has long that is longer than three characters. So through this function, I could delete very basic e verbs like m, e's, um, or. But um, other than that, I had to literally go one by one and delete it. And then the next step was visualization. So visualization for that, I used another uh, function ca called word cloud. Now the word cloud is quite famous 
and not only being used in art studios, but you can just um, for the design for um, for decorating or anything else. So the word cloud is a graphic function that visualizes what, what is considered to be keywords in the text in proportional size. So when you see the last pictures over there, um, let's just say you are an, analyzing any text that is related to Dove, the, um, the most mentioned words in that whole text is peace. Second word is love. Third one is connect. Fourth one is now. And um, so basically, the more the word is mentioned, the bigger the size is shown in the pictures. Now, the whole bird shape and the whole Mickey Mouse shape um, down below are only for the um, the design or like aesthetic part. And in my um, my research, it didn't really come out this design. It only came out into like literally just circle cloud form. And um, this is the, the whole function that I used to create my own word cloud. So let me just briefly um, explain. So I wanted to make a create a word cloud from the K text four, which was the um, which all starts from the K text. And then um, when you add um, one more layer layer of the function, you get. I just uh, named it as KTX 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the KTX 4 is the very latest version that all the process was applied. And um, size, which um, shows as a scale on the, the function above, is how big the size of font you want. So I set the size from 0.5 to 6 in a diverse scale. And the minimum frequency was 3. So I only set um, filter to show any words that mentioned more than three times to be shown in the cloud. Um, but I specifically ordered um, not to arrange the words in random, but in a descending way, so that I could see which words came out the most mentioned. But instead, I um, allowed it <laughs> to arrange the color randomly. So these two were um, the the results I could get from all those visual, visualization process. And I'll just go one by one. So, um, and this is like the final um, step of the whole uh, research, which are the, which is the interpretation. And I wanna go actually one by one into Korean and the abroad research. So for the Korean research, I could see the food, some like significant words, food, Korean market, industry, Islamic, products um, related certification, while I could see the interpretation of the research um, result abroad was food research certification products, Malaysia literature. But, and then I um, faced some problem that when it especially comes to research results of the abroad, there were too many words with too little sizes. When you compare it to Korean and the abroad, you'll definitely see the difference between the amount of the words came out, but their size also. So I had to go back to our studio, all the coding stuff, and then I use another um, uh, function called sort. So sort means literally just sort the, um, sort the data. And I um, first uh, applied the function also table so that I can just organize it. And I sort it in the decreasing. So the, the first word is the most mentioned word. So when it comes to Korean, top row was food, market, industry, and Islamic. And then um, I figured out that some there are some significant words like cosmetics with the 17 mentions, government with the 16 mention, export with a 15 mention, domestic with 13 mention, firms with nine mention. And this is very unexpected, but um, there were um, more mentions in China. The China was the most mentioned countries in Korean research, even than in Malaysia. While the interpretation of the research result of above or the overseas research was their top row was food review, certification, products, and literature. So it was quite similar. But then their um, significant words were a little bit different, that they were, um, they showed a chain with the, oh, chain and supply with the 18 mentions each um, 
ethanols with the 15 mentions, HSCM, which means Hala Supply Chain Management, with the 11 mentions, and Malaysia with the 14 mentions. So from all those data, I could conclude that um, from both Korea and the uh, overseas research, food was the most mentioned word in Hala studies. So also I could guess that food is the first concept that is the closest connecting concept of Halal history, Halal studies, I'm sorry, in both Korea and uh, researchers of abroad. And um, other than that areas in other than food is actually yet specified, um, but it is uh, slightly changing because Korea, when we see that Korea got certain mentions, like 16 mentions in cosmetics, but um, I'm sure that cosmetics are now just growing um, as a, another research topics, like common research topics. And um, although the further research actually should be followed, but when it comes to Korea, we can just say that Korean research are focusing on case studies and strategy for individual markets, um, inferring from the words of domestic market firms, export, or even Korean also. So I um, anticipated or I um, analyzed that Korean research are more um, concentrating on understanding the overall concept and its application to the Korean situation or Korean domestic situations. While the um, studies of abroad focuses on logistics and logistic related countries, when you see the supply chain, HSCM and Malaysia. And um, for the ethanol actually, <laughs> um, uh, ethanol was mentioned, it, it, it locates quite high status um, with the 15 mentions, but the papers that covers with ethanol was in the field of actually food engineering rather than the um, the regular, not the regular, but like rather than the um, literature one. So they were, um, they were explaining the certain phenomena or certain ingredients by using the experimental terms and just using the numbers instead of certain words. And I believe that is why um, the ethanol was the only words the words in characters that are mentioned in the paper and um aside from the result um this is uh not the actual research research step of my uh, presentation but aside from the result i could find some actually challenges that has to be resolved for um further research or further um, development. The first one was definitely expanding my uh, population of the sample text. 25 each from was um, actually not really big samples when you um, use a text mining, which focuses on the, the techniques based on big data and anal anal analysis. And um, establishing standards for relevance is the, um, those standards could be applied when you um, decide a relevant for certain papers, like when you face the, the papers of ethanols and you figure out that the paper is from um, engineering perspective instead of just religious studies. And what I faced personally quite hard was how to, should I first, should I filter it or not? Should I exclude it or not? If I exclude it, will there be any ethanol related papers. If not, how can I analyze the, the, the experimental rep report basically with the other um, phil maybe philosophical or maybe um, in literature papers? And the second one is efficiency. So when I first say in the pre-processing uh, pre steps, I had to basically copy and paste all the asterisks and uh, Gather into one file, dividing by a line with the enters. But um, I would definitely uh, ask for help with the help of um, other expertise. The use of crawling functions in R Studios. Now, R Studio obviously provides some crawling functions, but it just didn't work in Google Scholar website. I may need some advice and help from the expertise of different fields. And there were actually um, lingual differences 
and this is not a um the the significant point in parallel studies but um we may notice that every average size of the words were very different. So when it comes to studies of broad, it showed that way too many words with way too little um, sizes. It means there are so many words, but they are mentioned maybe one or two times or maybe three times. So in order to resolve such a problem, I had to figure out if there were any functions that could delete in in G sub uh, function that could delete any type of parts of studies instead of just uh, character strings. So when you, I want to, so instead of deleting any word starts with the A and N and D, I could only, um, if I could only use any functions that deletes all kinds of conjunctions, all kinds of prepositions, all kinds of, um, then all kind of, what do you call it? the adverbs maybe or any kind of um, verbs in any tenses it would be much more um, efficient and clearly shows the the um, meaningful words if that makes sense and also those uh, lingual differences was based on the writing habits so when you say korean um korean research results came into uh or very focused on certain words that with a very big mentioning. This means that at least Korean people, they uh, have writing habits to use um, similar words in rep written repetitive. So this is uh, because English is not their first language, obviously, and there are some uh, papers abroad, papers of overseas that is um, from whose native language is English. And they're um, basically use the span of words or use a span of uh, grammar would be uh, much wider. But then they have less page numbers um, and which limits the, which tames the whole um, papers of the whole volume of the population. So those were two challenges. Um, and in order to develop my research for the, the further research, and I uh, personally want to extend the research boundaries into the, the network connection between of the whole maybe um, social network service or the so um, the whole um, whole full articles. Hopefully, um, I would definitely. These are some challenges that I have to figure out. So um, yes, this was my presentation of the difference between um, of the academic tendency of halal studies between Korea and the abroad. Thank you for your attention.